The fact that this video has found you, that means you are just like me, sis. You love you a good wig. And you know what? You're in the right place because I bring the best wigs to your face, okay? Picture this. White sands, blue waters, and this luscious 30 inches of hair running down your back. CN, babe, even the ocean will be jealous of you because this is real water waves. Ah, so gorgeous and stunning. And it is all thanks to Ali Pearl Hair who sponsored this video. Now, even though it is sponsored, uh, I know they take what I give you. You see the evidence, the softness of the curls, the lace, where's the lace? Where's the lace? Ah, come on. <laughs> If this is your first time, my name is Sophia, also known as Sophiology the Fine Babe, and I hope you enjoy the video. Love you. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil and my cup overflows. Psalm 23, 5. Okay guys, let's get started and open this box. First of all, this packaging is so cute. I open the box and the first thing you're gonna see is the wig, safely secured, and a whole bunch of gifts that they included, a mirror, lashes, headband, and a silk little baggie to hold the wig in. Very nice, thanks guys. Now for the wig, it folds over three times, big per 30 inches. We're gonna pull it out and it was packaged very delicately and nice. I love that it looks pre-plucked already, but we'll see. Wig is nicely constructed. The lace is super thin. It's like, you can't even tell I'm holding anything. Really nice and transparent. And don't even get me started on the texture of this hair, like butter. I love that it also came with an elastic band as well. We're definitely going in to bleach those knots with some bleach and 40 developer and this little bowl and a brush. One scoop is more than enough. And just be gentle with the developer. I even poured too much. It came out a little looser than I like, but it's whatever. This is gonna go a very long way. I'm gonna just start patting it on the lace and I'm taking my time. This is sped up eight times faster than its normal speed. So I'm just taking my time, sitting, relaxing, singing some songs and just patting that lace um, with the bleach. Now I was very sloppy. I was not in the mood to, it's not everyday bleach nods. I was not in the mood, so I did it very scattered, but <laughs> it looked like that. You're looking at somebody that has black dye on deck all the time, so I'm not worried about no mistakes, but it came out just fine. It just looks very, very messy. So now I'm gonna wash it out. You can tell it's very, very brassy. I left it on for about 45 minutes, which is how long you wanna leave on bleach in general. I'm gonna take some shampoo and just wash the wig from root to tip. Babe, if you don't thoroughly wash your wig when you get it, that is very nasty. I'm not talking about a rinse and scrub. I'm talking about clean it well, well. I've had an incident to where I've broken out from hair before, even after washing it. But thankfully, I don't have this problem with this hair company. I only share the best of the best with you guys, especially with my recent wig series. So go check out my other videos for other styles. But anyway, um, there it is, all washed and clean, still brassy. I'm gonna take some purple shampoo. Any brand name is fine. This is the one that I'm using and I'm going to lather in that purple shampoo into the lace so it can, you know, tone those knots down, get it to a more neutral color. And I left this on for 30 to 45 minutes as well. After 45 minutes maximum, you are free to wash it out. Do you see how neutral that looks? Yeah, it looks so much better. So I'm gonna wash it out now. And even though my camera be saturating my lace, don't mind the camera. When I put it on the mannequin head soon, you will see that it does not look orange at all. On top of that, I'm a brown skin girl. So, you know, um, it's good, it's ready. So after this, I will just let the hair air dry outside. It took about 10 minutes and I was ready to start styling it. I've done little twisties to separate the baby hairs that they included because I can tell they plucked it a little bit right in that area. But the rest of the hairline is pretty, pretty thick. So I separated those baby hair places first. And I like that there is a hairline shape. You can kind of see it. it has a little widow's peak thing going on. 
but I'm gonna definitely pluck a little bit because it's pretty thick. And before I really get into plucking, I wanna show you guys well, well. You see, it looks okay on the mannequin head, but if I put it on my head, it's really thick. You can keep it like that, but I'm trying to go for a really pulled natural hair look. So we have a lot in common already, babe, but if you don't like plucking, that's yet another thing we have in common. I just feel like it intimidates me because I'm just not sure how to do it. Like this is my first time plucking in like three years. I can pluck here and there, but to do a fresh hairline, it's been a minute. But honestly, this trick and these tips is what does it for me. As you can see, I've separated the already thinned out baby hair part. And now I have the hair pulled straight back and I'm just plucking away at the front. You wanna thin out that front first before you do anything. Now I'm gonna part it and now you can see where the frontal really starts. It's very thick, so you don't have to be sparse, like pluck aggressively. Of course you don't wanna poke a hole in the lace, so don't like stab the lace, but don't be afraid to pluck out multiple hairs at a time. You're not gonna have any bald spots if you just keep your hand moving, okay? So just try not to stay in the same place. Pluck however feels right to you, just keep your hand moving. So now I'm parting the hair again, a very thin section, and I'm plucking at that thicker area again. This time I'm plucking on both sides, the part I just plucked and the part I haven't plucked, just going in and out back and forth, plucking anyhow, just keeping my hand moving. This first layer of time, I'm just trying to thin out the hair. I'm not even worried about it looking like a hairline just yet because there's a lot of hair to pluck, okay? And because this hair is deep wave, it's a good wig to practice on as well. It's pretty hard to see mistakes with deep wave. So I'm going back in and you can see it's already thinner. I'm plucking away at the front again. And when I use my rat tail comb, I want to, you know, be able to see the comb through the hair. That's how I will know that it's nicely plucked when I'm parting a thin section and I can see the comb. That's perfect to me. Now, your preference for how thick you like your hairline is up to you. You'll see mine when I'm done, but I wanted this very like growing out of my scalp, okay? So as you can see, that is plucked. People have different methods. This is how I do it, especially with deep wave hair, it's pretty easy and that's how it looks. You can kind of see an uneven hairline forming. That's what I prefer. Um, so yeah, I prefer to actually pluck after the watching this video. Like I actually did so good. I was proud of myself. So I definitely feel more comfortable plucking again next time. Like look at that. We're basically ready to install at this point. I'm so excited. I tried the wig on just to see how it looks and I am loving how soft ooh, the hair is. I could not stop rubbing my hands through it. It felt so amazing. Now the hair looks like really blown out and crazy cause I had to like really tease it to get all those loose hairs that I plucked out. But don't worry, I'm gonna tame it back. I just wanna make sure all that loose hair is out, but guys, this hair is soft. This hair is soft. It's so lightweight as well. Like it looks so full and long, but it's so lightweight. And it is so soft. Like I'm obsessed, literally. I'm about to put on makeup, BRB. And here we are. I have my makeup done. I did a little ball cap method situation, but I'm just trying on the wig to see how that hairline looks for real, okay? gonna shift it to the middle there. The wig fit very snug. It fit very, very well. I was so impressed. Um, Do not mind this sorry excuse of a ball cap method, okay? I just did it, yeah, I got. I do not have time today, I beg. I could not come in, stress myself out. I can usually get away with it, but this lace was very transparent. I still have faith this will be a good install. <laughs> I'm gonna take my got to be glued hairspray and this is what I'm using to install the wig. Now guys, if you're new here, I don't like ball cap method. I like to just put on my wig and go. But I thought because of this hairline, I'm gonna need it. So yeah, I'm here spraying the spray and that's what gets on my nerves. Like, how does it not lift for y'all? I don't do glue by the way, so don't even suggest, I beg. You know what, I'm actually fine actually. Just leave me, leave me how I am. You can see that I'm just panicking small because I can just feel the liquid dripping down my face, the hair stuck underneath the lace, the cap sliding back because it's lifting and it's liquid and I'm just like, erg. So I just said, you know what, let me hurry up and start using a blow dryer to get this product dry. The whole point was just to get the wig on my skin, laid, and then we'll do the melting and all that stuff very soon. 
which I'm here for. But for now, we just dry in that product, okay? Now I'm gonna take a comb and I'm gonna start straining that hair to go back. I'm gonna take some spritz. Ooh, this liquid mousse magic. I'm gonna be using this to melt the lace and also lay my baby hairs later. So keep a good eye on that product. I'm spraying it in a big area and I'm gonna quickly use the blow dryer so it doesn't start lifting my stuff again. <laughs> this mousse will keep that hairline where it needs to be. Do you see how it's looking like an uneven hairline? I love that for me. That's exactly what I was trying to do. So here I am spraying it in a major area and then blow drying it. Once it's tacky a little bit, I take the comb again and just start combing it into place. Ooh. That looks so nice. And now we melt. How cute is this glittery headband? I love it. And it can be worn inside out to where it's black with glitter writing. Anyway, I'll show it next time. But we are melting that lace in now on a hot setting with low wind. You wanna take your time, whether you use a blow dryer or not, just let it sit. Now that it's on, I'm gonna take a little bit of that mousse and just dab that line with my finger. Not the lace, so it doesn't lift, <laughs> just the line. And um, we're not gonna put the band on. We're gonna let that mousse dry into the skin and the lace so it melts. And then once I made sure it was dry, I put the band back on so that, you know, it could sit. And then it can really melt for the very last time. I burned my forehead, by the way, if you're wondering what that mark is. <laughs> we ain't gonna burn my forehead today in Jesus' name. <laughs> Amen. But yeah, it's already dry. I'm just taking the heat from the blow dryer to really melt it and we're good. Now I'm taking it off. I like the way it looks. It's now time to start doing our baby hairs. Now it's not by force to have baby hair shot, but me, I like them. And we're going fluffy with it. I love fluffy baby hairs. Everything on my wig is dry, but I can tell that bald cap is sliding back past the lace. You can see it and it's annoying, but it's an easy fix. All it's gonna take is some contour powder, like your contour shade. You're just gonna dab that into the cap and it will literally be invisible. You will see it later, but for right now, let's focus on one thing. We're gonna do those baby hairs first. So I plucked the baby hairs on this side, which looks good, but this side I didn't pluck them. I wanted to see if it was too thick and it was. So what I'm gonna do is just pull it out. Now I suggest you use a tweezer, but <laughs> your fine babe is a pro at doing teens like this. So yeah, I'm just pulling it out with my fingers, thinning it out, and that looked a lot better once it was a bit thinner. Now I'm gonna take my shears and cut it right at the eyebrow in a diagonal line. Any hair that's longer than my eyebrows gotta go. Now I don't cut it too short at first because I wanna make sure I don't overcut. I just cut it to like right there and then I trim off whatever passes my eyebrow like, you know, later. So here on this side, we're gonna do the same thing, cut in a diagonal line, and uh, anything that passes the eyebrows gotta go. I'm really loving this hairline. Like, I ate low key. <laughs> but off camera, I went to take my contour powder and just, I just blended it into the cap. Like, things are still receding, but you can't tell anymore. <laughs> We're all good. It looks so much better. Maybe next time I install this wig, the ball cap will be perfect. Like I really did not get today. But yeah, I'm happy with it. So I'm gonna trim off whatever passes my eyebrows. Like I said, see you. I really did my big one with this plucking. Plucked, plucked to the, to the optimum. This is so, so, so pretty. I'm gonna take my little curling iron here. It even has a little clamp. Okay, and that's what I'm gonna use to curl my edges so they can have a little twang to them. Simple, just curling it to my face. I don't like using little flat irons. I don't like burn, burning my face. I've already burned myself once. Can't happen again. So we're just curling it towards the face. And once it looks like that, so cute, <laughs> we're gonna lay it down. I still have a little spritz on my face, so I'm just using that to like, you know, sway the fluffies into place. Now, if you like your edges crisp, go ahead, use whatever you use, mousse, gel, whatever, hairspray, but I'm I'm very good with my little fluffies. And that is them. That is she. I love it. Oh, love it. And 
yeah, just a closer look. I think I'm just showing off some more. Hey, in the meantime, just like, comment, and subscribe in this very moment. Like, you're gonna miss me by force. <laughs> you're gonna miss me, okay? Uh, I'm gonna take some concealer and use a tiny little brush just to like define that part. One tiny little line down the part like that. So it'll just crisp it and just bring the look together. Woo. Finally, the fun part, everything looks good. It's now time to tame these curls. I'm using Miss Jessie's Pillow Soft Curls product that my friend Rosie put me on. Hold on, manifesting a future partnership. It's giving poster girl by God's grace, okay? I'm gonna take that product and you're supposed to read the instructions and wet your hair on damp hair at the product. It works so beautifully that way, guys, but I am a stubborn coconut head. I decided to just do my own thing. I was lazy and I wanted to see what would happen dry. And once I touched my hair, I knew why they said wet it first. Like <laughs> a little product goes a long way, but it's a lot of hair and you know, it just works well with water. It's supposed to air dry and just give you the most beautiful result, but we still gonna get pretty results. Like you can still see us doing a little something, something, all right? The only problem is that now I have to use more product, whereas I could have used less before. But the bright side is that whenever I use my little spray bottle to like, you know, wet my hair, I don't have to use more product. I have very much <laughs> to go around for a while, so yeah. And I did spray it after this video with water and when it dried, it felt so fluffy and amazing and soft, like, but it's still doing its thing in this video. It's still doing its thing. I highly suggest wetting, wetting your hair, but if you're impatient like me, like <laughs> this tutorial is for you then, I'm just adding it all over the hair. Oof, oof. Can you see what it's doing? Instant, instant, instant. I even started rubbing it on the sides, getting ahead of myself. Kai. I thought if I put it on the sides, it will look so good. So that's exactly what I did. Ow. I went and took more product and decided to just rub it down the sides. And guys, look what it did. Do you see? Are you seeing? Wow. I'm scrunching it up here. That way I don't tease it or make it frizzy, but I add that volume. The curls are defined, the hair is voluminous. It, oh, man, I even forgot this wasn't my hair for a second. <laughs> I forgot this wasn't my hair for a second because that lace is blending so good. I went and put cream all over the melting that I did. Ah, if this lace lifts out, I go vex, but it was fine at the end of the day. <laughs> like this is lace, Sophia, come on now, you should. But yeah, look at that, guys. Look at those curls. Look at those curls. Pillow Soft Curls, guys, Miss Jessie. It's available at Target and CVS and I'm sure many other stores. And shout out to Ali Pearl for this beautiful wig. Come on. Ah, they did their big one with this wig. And you better save money and use my code. Don't forget to use my code at checkout, okay? The link for this hair is down below in the description box. I hope you enjoyed this video and spending time with me. We're gonna be running on the beach together very soon in our voluminous hair. I'm really for real, like I have a travel vlog coming up for you guys. So stay tuned to my channel. If you're new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you're a fine babe already, thank you for your support. I really appreciate you. But seriously, guys, seriously, thumbs up and comment. It helps put my video out there and get recommended to others. Don't keep this beautiful wig to yourself. Don't gatekeep. Real fine babes, share. Okay? And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye.